The expansion of the back of the yards neighborhood began in the mid 19th century with the establishment of the Union stockyards and the concentration of railroads in the area. By 1900, the neighborhood had been transformed into a series of Slavic enclaves dominated by Poles, Czechs, Lithuanians, and Slovaks. Prior to the Great Depression, the various ethnic enclaves that composed the back of the yards neighborhood handled their population's problems internally. Unfortunately, when the Great Depression hit, Poverty and need was so widespread that the enclaves simply could not cope within their individual ethnic communities. It was this and created a need for a back of the yards neighborhood council. They did something, at least. They didn't just sit back and complain about conditions or, or this or that. They organized. I believe that the back of the yards is the strongest pillar in the foundation of the city of Chicago. One of the oldest communities in the city. It provided job opportunities for people that came to this country looking for a better life. Uh, they left their homelands and they wound up here. People that came here and, and were the people that were hardworking and, and really took a chance and were strong and courageous and disciplined and they wanted their children to do better than they did. In most cases they did. Their children got their grounding and their, and their upbringing and their values from this very community, from this very location, from this very philosophy of life. We want joy. We want joy. Yeah, we're from the second floor. We're back of the yards. The back of the yards is uh, an area where we used to be picked up during Christmas. Mr. Megan, who was one of the founders of this organization, uh, took care of our family when we were kids, just the same as the kids are being taken care of right now. We were the kids coming to the back of the yards for Christmas. We want the businesses to participate in this. We, what we did this year was letter to Santa. Yeah, we had to fill a Santa letter out. And oh, yeah, we yeah, 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 have like a ticket like this. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Like the that. one in Brank Park had over 1,000 folks attend, and the one in the back of the yard had over 2,000. So we, we gave out over 3,000 uh, gifts this year to needy children in the area. The BYNC was formed in the aftermath of the Great Depression in 1939 by Joseph Megan, the superintendent of Davis Square Park, and Saul Linsky, a colorful professional organizer. It was pretty good, I'm telling you. Yeah. They were honest over here. Megan was honest. It had to be done with leadership. Joe Megan started that free milk program, which was very big. And that program spread to schools throughout the country. Because of the family nature of things, I think there's always been a calling in this neighborhood of activism. People who lived in tough urban conditions needed a voice which to rally to for improvements in their communities, improvements in their working conditions improvements in the general society in which they live. Saul Alinsky came in here and you had Joe Megan and you, you know, they formed this Back of the Arts Council and they had Bishop Sheehan here at one time working with uh, the Catholic Youth Organization. Organization, they worked together by myself, I'm really nothing, you know, I just had one branch on the tree. But, but if you're uh, connected with all these others, you work with them, they work with you. And that's how that works, cooperate, you know. The BYNC was essentially a collaboration of all the individual ethnic schools, churches, and various social clubs. The board of directors was elected by an annual community congress where all these groups were represented. The BYNC motto, we the people will work out our own destiny, reflects what it was created to accomplish. There were a lot of improvements that took place. A lot of people don't realize it, but you know, there's, there's a, like it was an evolution, you know. I've seen it go from an organization that deal with residents into a multi-purpose type organization that deals with anyone from the ages of five years old all the way to 95 years old. Ah, You're the happy shopper. <laughs> hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We love the back of the yards bus. I take it twice a week. It's so easy. Are you sure you're not Chinese? Man, you always buy that big bag of rice. <laughs> you damn rice. Right. Every night. One of the other programs that we're most proud of is our senior bus shuttle. It's funded partially through the SSA program, and it's also funding through our aging grant. It gives them an opportunity to get out when otherwise they might not have that opportunity. 39th Street, you should wash the cattle yeah, across oh, yeah. the road. Yeah, Years ago, they had benches outside, and people used to sit out there. Some sang their different song. 
the Bohemian stereotype. Over time, both the community and the organization changed. The community remained Slavic for most of the 20th century, but by the mid 70s, it was a predominantly Hispanic neighborhood with a minority of African Americans, as it is today. It's wonderful now that as long they got the Mexicans coming in, that was a great thing that happened here. They're wonderful people. Otherwise, you'd be out of a ghost town. Working closely with local businesses and elected officials. We have an emphasis on community and economic development to improve the conditions in the neighborhood and create our own community programs. One of the most successful of these programs is the BYNC Ballet Folklorical. My wife started with a dance for the ballet in 16 yeah, years. So. Yeah. We started with eight kids to take it out of the kids out of the streets. Una de las experiencias más gratificante el trabajar con niños, jóvenes, realmente necesitan espacios y actividades que los aleje de tanta mala influencia que abunda aquí en nuestro vecindario. And you're talking today an average age of 18 in this neighborhood um, and a population per square block of anywhere 150 to 250 kids.